I'm with floppy haired ex public school boy Joe Markowski. Also, to be amongst my own. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, all, uh, yeah, but was, well, uh, we're amongst our own, but we're in a different space Flop, here today. Floppy haired, equally public school Gareth A. <laughs> Davis. Yes, so hi Joe, I'm now CEO of DAZN North America. Um, I wasn't surprised a few days ago when you signed a KSI and the Misfits fight series on a five year deal. Um, we're here today at the press conference headed, what is it, Misfits 4? Yep. Um, X-Series 4. X -seri Misfits in the zone, X-Series 4. There we go, X-Series 4. I'm working transparency here. I'm working for Talk Sport and the broadcast on Saturday night. Um, I'm here doing my due diligence. Uh, I've just interviewed Salt Pappy. We had a massive chat about Manny Pacquiao. KSI. You've I'd... got a bit of Pappy energy to you, actually. You, do, you wouldn't I... think it. I've only got one head kick and they have to call a cab. You know that. Uh, and tequila, if I miss, I'm tequila, done. Tequila, tequila and Salt Pappy is your game, Oh, isn't God. <laughs> Very good. Um, you know, it's it's a very interesting area. This um, I and you said it on stage earlier on. We don't know where this is going to go, but we want to be in it, and you've got to be in it to win it. It's a very different space. Why? How do you perceive it? What does it do for the zone? Is it that thing that I say that thank God they're not doing Formula One or golf because at least we've got these guys in this, and they're changing a generation, I agree with that. and that they're influencing a lot of young people, and maybe the children of a lot of my followers, you know, who, who are my, my age group with The Telegraph, for example. I think the, re the reason we're doing it is because we've done, we've tested the water, we've wet our appetite over three years, really, end of 2019 to the, to the end of 2022. Well, I was this, at this, KSI we, and, and Logan Paul four years ago. It was incredible. Which was our first foray into yeah. this space. Yeah. And that was tremendously exciting and yeah. successful for us. Yeah. COVID disrupted it. It wasn't core to our business, it was very nascent for our business. Um, and it went on the back burner, candidly. It, it, we had to make some decisions to keep the company in healthy shape. Uh, we're now in a very different um, sort of mindset. We're in a growth mode. Uh, we're doing so in a very sustainable way. So we are going after projects that can grow our business um, that make sense economically for us. Um, more broadly, at a macro level, why is DAZN embracing this? Why do I think the sports industry should embrace this type of thing? I think sport has a pretty existential yeah. challenge. I think the behaviour uh, of the generation who are now between the ages of 15 and 25, let's say, these, these guys aren't necessarily kids anymore. They're young adults, the, the older end of their age range. Um, that generation have been served throughout their time as children up to the current day by the internet. They're the first generation who grew up the internet from day one. And the internet has served them with literally hundreds and thousands of different entertainment formats, different types of entertainer. The, 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 the range uh, of entertainment um, sources has broadened dramatically in the last 10 or 15 years. When I was at school, there were two or three things to watch every night that mattered on British television. Champions League on a Tuesday, maybe the OC, and you were fighting over the remote with your, with your sister or your brother. Um, to watch either of those things. And that was all you talked about with your friends the next day. There was less entertainment noise. Now the, the breadth is much, much wider, and therefore the risk to sport is that interest in sport is diluted. Mm. And if that happens, the traditional sports business has got a pretty existential challenge. So whilst we are going to continue investing in what we'd call traditional sport, major rights to soccer, major rights to boxing, major rights to tennis, golf, you name it, globally, we're not going to reduce our investment there. It's really important that we also, in parallel, embrace formats and competitions and athletes that engage that next generation in the way they wish to be engaged, in the way that they react to. You can see the audience gathered here today. There's not many boxing, traditional boxing press conferences as passionate an audience as today. These guys love KSI, they love the cast of characters that are Oh, they love this Salt Pappy, they love, they all love... Of them. The drama of Anthony Taylor, who exactly. they, you know. And, it, and, it, and it's a very dynamic space that drives buying decisions. KSI, this is what makes me most of it. His core business is making YouTube videos with his mates. He's also a chart topping musician. He's also you know, a beverage brand entrepreneur, very successful. Well, we saw that one. the other day, the, the stampede. He's also a pay per view boxing star. And across all of those different verticals, he takes what is primarily a free to air social media audience and makes them buy things and says, I'm now going to do boxing, I'm now going to make a beverage brand, I'm now going to uh, make, a, make a rap album. And they go, brilliant, we love it, we buy it. And I think he's 
a marketing wizard. So you're going result. with market, market forces of there. Of course, we're a business. We want to we go where we think we can monetize content yeah. and yeah. narratives, and this definitely does that. Um, are you, are you insu ensuring by creating the, the Misfit series, by labelling yeah. it that, yeah. that, you're, that you're drawing a line under what that is as opposed to what your traditional and I boxing think, is? And I think that's where I think I understood the criticism we've had from the traditional boxing space um, when we've tried to merge the two things. With KSR Logan Paul 2, we had Billy Joe Saunders fought on that card, for example. Yeah, and Devin Haney. Um, and Devin, Devin Haney, Haney fought. And, and, but but Ryan Garcia was there, Israel Adesanya was there, Justin Bieber. Some of them, you mixed it, didn't some, you? Some, some of the fighters loved it, some of the boxing fans loved it. We understood those who didn't. I think, let's just separate the two. We've done that now. We've got big investments in boxing. You know how big our investments are in boxing. Canelo Alvarez, Matchroom Boxing USA, Matchroom UK, Golden Boy. Um, we've, we've, we've invested heavily. We're continuing that. It's a very healthy part of our business now. It doesn't mean we can't also explore this. It doesn't take anything away from that. Um, they're different things and we're separating them now. That's boxing. This is sports entertainment. This is crossover boxing. Um, they're different things. We've separated them. And I hope that actually, and I'm confident, that our investment in this may introduce younger consumers into traditional boxing, and that's only a good thing for the sport. Well, it's fascinating that it happened in the same week that the PFL MMA announced Jake Paul was their first both kind of big both name. partners of ours. But for the 50-50 deal yeah. um, in their pay-per-view states yeah. coming up this year. And I get it, and that will break the mould yeah. in uh, fighter pay for yeah, MMA, well, which is a, a brilliant move. I, again, transparency here, I'm working with the PFL as well. As so. am I. Yeah, so, so transparency here, yeah. you know, um, which I think we all need to do, but they're all paradigm shifts. I think we're seeing paradigm shifts globally, digitally, um, and I think this is one of those massive years for it. It was a weirdly disappointing year last year. Um, can I ask you a couple of other questions? Mm. How does, in your view, is it easy to get Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis over the line? We're very confident. PBC and DAZN. We, 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 we are very confident that we have a, a deal in principle yeah. for that fight. We announced Is it on that. both channels, maybe? It'll be broadcast, um, yeah, exactly, exactly Showtime right. and... It'll be on um, Showtime. And, we'll and carry DAZN. the fight on DAZN as well. We're working through the specifics of that. That's, that's sort of been soft announced, that fight. Um, I want to... You know, shout out to Stephen Espinosa and, and the team at, at Showtime, um, who've been fantastic. To, and that was required for that fight to, to come together. Um, our friends at Golden Boy, uh, Tanks team, um, boxing needs to do more of that. We've said that publicly for a couple of years now. Boxing needs to work across the aisle, as it were, to um, make big fights like that happen. That, that fight can't happen unless both broadcasters, both emotional teams lean in. So, um, looking forward to that for later in the 